Hey there guys, Grace Burn one here, and today uh, we're going to be watching this building burn down. <laughs> so uh, just sit back, relax for five minutes as you watch this Minecraft building get burnt down. <laughs> no, what we're doing today is we're going to be using this lava and these pistons over here, and we're going to be building a bridge submerged by lava, and you're going to be able to throw a lever, and then a bridge is going to pop up. So it's a bridge hidden underneath lava, whatever you want to call it. Lava bridge, I don't know what you want to call it. So um, I'm in the tutorial world, if you're wondering, because I found that uh, it's really easy to get pistons there. There's about 16 pistons that you can get in the tutorial. So I figured, why not use the tutorial level to make tutorials? And kill more cows. How did you even get here? Die. Okay. Okay. Waste enough time. Another one. Christ. Okay. So anyway, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to build three down. Well, dig three blocks down, and make sure you have plenty of space. As you see here, I have plenty of space. I'm not really gonna go over how to specifically construct it because it's gonna vary from person to person depending on how you want it and where you want it. But make sure you have a lot of space and you're at least three blocks down from the surface because you want you want to have your piston your block and then when the block is activated it'll come up to ground level then so three blocks down and as many pistons as you need I'm using 16 I think maybe 18 I don't recall but um, and then hiding the redstone connections again that's up to you um, but I'm just going to be using this one lever and we're going to stick it here as you see I have a space already hollowed out and uh, this is going to come down and connect down here to this block here which is going to have two redstone torches and the reason that we're going to have two redstone torches is because well actually you can do it with one redstone torch i was doing it another way earlier that required two but you can actually do it with one as i figured out so what you want to do here obviously that well okay i'm getting ahead of myself what you're going to first want to do is you're going to want to put these down. These are redstone repeaters. Uh, redstone repeaters are made using two redstone torches and three regular stone blocks. What that means is you take a cobblestone block, you throw it in the furnace, and it creates a smooth stone block like what you mine originally. So that's what you're going to need. And you're going to need to fill all these. Every piston gets its own. Uh, well, except these. You don't need one here or here because those two are there. But each piston gets its own redstone repeater. And then what you're going to want to do is, you're going to want to take your line out, connect it to that, take your line out, connect it to that, connect it to that. Well, actually, you don't even need all those there, but you're going to just want to connect them all like that. Now, you're going to run into a problem here, and I'll address this problem. See, now these ones aren't turning on. Now, the reason for that is, is that the redstone line isn't reaching as far as it should, so you're going to want to take these out. And you're going to want to drag it like that. And you want to go put one right there. And put one right there. And put it the wrong way. My bad. There we go. And uh, placement's important too. Like you see here. I'll just show you real fast. Putting it like that. It's not connecting it because the line is think The repeater is thinking that the input is coming in from here and going to here. But the input is coming from this direction. The input being where the redstone charge is coming from is coming from this direction. So you want this to face that way. And then it connects all of them. And now you got your bridge. And we'll just test this out to show you how it works. And there you go. You got your bridge. So now comes the tricky part. And the tricky part is going to be getting all this lava... Where'd I put that? Bucket. There it is. Bucket. All this lava is going to need to go on top of the blocks, essentially, so that your blocks are hidden. So, what we're going to need to do is come over here, and I'm going to take all the cobblestone that I need from here. Not a whole lot, but, you know, it's enough to get the job done to cover it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cover this, and it's real simple how you cover it. You're just going to make sure that it's a block above and you're not blocking any connections. When you come over here, you're going to have to be careful. So I'll do this first. Um, what you're going to want to, oops, what you're going to want to do is make sure that you're not blocking any of the, god dang it, 
Make sure you're not blocking any of those connections. Oops, see, like right there, that blocked that connection, and now, it, now it's not feeding half the side. <laughs> so that's not going to work. So you need to put one there, and then you're going to put one here, and then here. And then here, and then here, and then here. And then you got, see, that's what I kind of, and then I copied the same design over on that side. So that's kind of why it looks like that, just so it doesn't look weird. Um, so now we're going to, dang it. Going to come over here now, and we're just going to fill the rest of this in. And this is going to take a while. <laughs> <laughs> so you're probably going to want to skip unless you want to watch me friggin' fill in all this cobblestone, which honestly, why would you want to watch me do this? Kind of boring. I'm probably actually going to cut this out. Um, just cause, because, I mean, it's taking friggin' forever to do this. And I'm wasting precious, uh tutorial talking time but just as long I mean the general idea just fill this in so you have a flat plane that you can pour all your lava on am I gonna run out of space I'm gonna run out of space just like that okay so now that we got this covered no one knows it's all secret now no one can see what's going on Right. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I thought I did something wrong. <laughs> That's exactly how it's supposed to work. What am I thinking? So I use, I made a honeycomb just so I could store all this freaking lava. Um, also, you know, I have this open because I didn't want to waste time. Um, freaking building a gigantic room for no apparent reason. Because really all this is is just showing you how the redstone works and the general idea behind it. Um, another, one thing you can actually do is when you're placing it, if you want it to be uniform, do the honeycomb thing that I did here and then just remove the other blocks as you go and it'll create sort of a uh, an easier working space for your lava. But I'm not doing that because for time's sake. I'm just going to fill it up with lava as much as I can and then we'll go from there. Now, uh, originally what I did here was I wanted to build it to put a chest in the middle, which is what I'm going to be doing. You can just use it as a bridge for whatever purpose. Just have a bridge. <laughs> and a bunch of lava underneath. Why not? Um, or you can use it to make, I guess, sort of a trap in a way. But yeah, it's pretty basic. Pretty simple, actually. One thing you don't want to do is put the lava source in the middle on a piston, because when you do that and you raise the piston, uh, the lava source is going to go with it, and it might turn into a big, gigantic mess. <laughs> and you're not going to be able to use the bridge. So when placing your lava sources, like, see, I messed up, make sure that you are not placing... Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, I'm going to die. You get to hear my wonderful oh. oohs and ahs oh. until <laughs> until uh, I stop being on fire. We're actually going to turn the bridge on now. So as you see here, there's the bridge. And you might be wondering yourself, well, why is it not fully complete? Now it is. Okay. Okay. Being on fire sucks. And now I'm not on fire. <laughs> so there's that. Um, the bridge, as you see, it's working. I thought it was something that's real simple. Um, I think it's been around on the PC version for a long time, stuff like this. Close the bridge. Lava fills it in. Now, as you can see over here, the lava source that should, we need to add more lava sources. So, add lava sources as needed, obviously. Um, like right there would be a good one. And then the lava fills it up, and then no one is the wiser that you have a lava bridge. Now, check the time I got on this. Nine minutes. Okay, I'm doing good. So, one thing that I personally would do, if I had more cobblestone, damn it, I don't have enough cobblestone to do that. Um, just put maybe a chest out here like right here or just put one right here but you got to watch out because chests are made out of wood 
And if you're going to put a chest out here, um, it might catch on fire. Much like a building that was once here caught on fire. Because lava, you see those little, like the smoke and stuff, like those little particles that come up. Those can catch things on fire if they're made out of wood. So don't be just putting a random uh, chest in the middle of the lava pool. You're going to need to like put a structure around it to cover it so it doesn't you know, burn down. And if you're putting stuff in it, you're going to lose all that stuff to the lava because the lava is a bitch. Um, but yeah, so that's just the general idea behind this. It's a simple bridge using sticky pistons. And uh, I think I'm going to cut it off here. That concludes this uh, lava bridge, hidden lava bridge tutorial, I guess is what I'm probably going to end up calling it. Uh, comment, subscribe, like, dislike, throw hate mail my way, troll my videos. What, whatever it is you do, go ahead and do it. And uh, I'll see you in my next video.